Hey guys, it's Taylor. So, I was not planning on filming it today, so my makeup and everything is just not 100% whatever. Um, this is my school makeup. I will be doing a tutorial on the look, even though it is kind of worn down. It's whatever. Um, but this is about an ex-boyfriend, and I just need to share this with you guys because I want you guys to just know this. I don't share a lot of my personal life with you guys because... It's personal, and I don't know, I'm just not at that stage yet to where I'm, like, comfortable with sharing everything with you guys. But, um, I share a majority of my life with you. Anyway, so I dated this guy for, like, a half a month, like, a month and then half of another one. So we dated for almost, like, a month and a half, almost two months, right? Um, we started talking, like, the very end of October, and we started dating early November. So we talked for a couple of weeks, days, I don't know. Mind you, do not get in a relationship if you truly 100% aren't comfortable and don't know the guy. I was fine, it was just whatever. So we dated, whatever, and I'm not going to say his name because he'll, and he doesn't know my YouTube videos, I don't think, I don't remember if I told him or not, but it's whatever. So, um, it was the day after his birthday and it was like early December. And, um, it was the week of my dad's side of the family's Christmas party. And I remember, because I remember they knew I was dating him. And I knew that I, when he broke up with me. Because he, he broke up with me the day after his birthday. And it was kind of out of the blue. Because, I mean, he was the kind of guy who texts. Like, he would text me all the time. And we'd FaceTime and call, talk on the phone, hang out, whatever. And then all of a sudden, like, everything just stopped. And it kind of, like, was just going downhill. Um, a couple days before his birthday, and then after his birthday, everything just stopped. I was like, are you serious right now, or like what? So, broke up. He broke up with me, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, he did not give me a reason, just was like, I can't do this anymore. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, what did I do? What happened? Like, yo, tell me, you know. Didn't say nothing. About, it was the last day of Christmas break that I got a text, and it was a random number. Obviously, I deleted his number, photos, everything. You know, when you go through a breakup, you delete everything, right? So we broke up, and then the last day of my Christmas break, I got a random text. I woke up to a random number, texted me, and was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, who's this? And he said his name. Flipped out. I went off when I'm like, if I had the text still, I would show you guys. I sent them to my friend, a couple, I think one or two of my friends, and like, they know about it. Like, a certain amount of friends know. I didn't tell all my friends, obviously, but like, those who do know, don't say nothing in the comments. Um... So, I was pissed, and then later that night I was talking to my aunt about it, because I tell her everything my aunt. Nanette, you've seen her in probably a couple videos, and, um, yeah, I was talking to her, and she was like, understand you were hurt, because it was the first time a guy broke up with me. Every other relationship, I've always broken up with the guy, and so I was pissed off, and then, like, my aunt was like, obviously you don't have to trust him again and forgive him. Well, you, for, you should forgive, not for him, but for yourself, whatever. But you need to go back and apologize for the text like that. Because I was pissed off. Like, I didn't want to talk to him. So I was like, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, go off on you like that. Like, you didn't deserve it. You know, whatever. And he was like, it's okay. I deserved it all. And I was like, cool. Have a nice life. Whatever. You know, trying to be nice, but trying to let him know, like, yo, I'm not interested. And then he was like, that's it? And I was like, well, what else is there to say? He was like, I miss you so much. And then... Later that night, we talked on the phone for two hours, and I don't know what I said, but he just hung up on me, and, like, we didn't talk for a couple weeks, and then I randomly got a text in class, and it was from him. Basically, like, he would go a couple weeks and then text me. Okay. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because last night he called me at 10 o'clock at night. Why the hell would you call me at 10 o'clock at night? Like, I was asleep, girl. Like, no. Boy, please. I was dead asleep, because, you know... I did all my homework at school, and I was tired, and I went to bed early. I went to bed at, like, 9. And that was, like, the earliest I've been to bed since high school started. So, I was enjoying my sleep, honey, because me and high, me and my sleep have been broken up because of high school. So, you know, I was trying to get me some good sleep, right? Because every other night, I go to bed at, like, midnight, 1, 2, 3 a.m., right? So, okay. I'm out of my own business, and then I didn't notice it was, like, okay, at first, I didn't look at, I just saw I had a missed call, and I just saw it on the bus just now, when I was on the bus, and I, like, you know, turned on your cellular data, whatever, so you get all your texts and stuff, because I have to turn that off sometimes, because people be blowing up my phone without it, um, 
And, yeah, so, whatever, you know me, I'm just minding my business. Essie is from, I see this number, and I know his number started with a 9 number. And I was like, this cannot be him, right? So, I texted the number, and I was like, who is this, and why'd you call me? And then he was like, damn, nigga, bye. And I was like, are you serious? And then I was like, what do you want? And he was like, nigga, I just said bye. And I was like, whatever. I blocked his number. I finally blocked his number. Because let me tell you something. I'm not the kind of person who will randomly, he will just block a guy or a girl. I'm not bisexual or lesbian. I'm, I like guys, obviously. But depending on the situations, I don't just block people randomly. Like, I'm that type of person who gives a lot of chances and who, like, literally, like, I hate to have to block someone. But when I had, like, this, this was just, because he was mixing with, like, he was messing with my feelings and emotions and everything, like. And even when he we FaceTime, I was like, don't go back to him, whatever. And I do miss him. Like, I miss him a lot. Like, I didn't realize I could miss a guy that much until I, like, dated him. Like, he just, I don't know why I miss him so much, even though all he is is an asshole now. But, like, and he told me I was his first, like, true love. And I was like, Nick, we only dated for a month and a half. Like, no, stop. But at the same time, and by the way, I'm not being racist when I say nigga. I say that all the time, and I have people who are black friends who don't care if I say that and who think it's whatever, like, I'm not racist. I just had to put that out there because I know people are going to be like, she said nigga, whatever. Like, no, I'm not racist. And obviously this guy I'm talking about, it was black. It was a black guy. Like, shocker, we know. And my mom knows, so I'm, I'm okay to say it. <laughs> like, the only guy she knows about. <laughs> Great, someone's going to show this video. <laughs> like, tell her. But I just wanted to say to be careful you date, I guess. Um, and I hope, like, this happens to nobody out there, like, um, I know two people who are in relationships right now, well, I know more than two people, but two of my friends are in relationships, and they probably know who I'm talking about. I'm just saying, girls, y'all better watch y'all's back, because, oh, don't be in my situation. But it's, like, it kind of sucks, though, because, yeah, I miss him, like, I miss this kid a lot, like, honestly, I'm very proud of myself for not going back to him, like, I'm so proud of myself, because he doesn't deserve me. But at the same time, it, like, sucks knowing that, like, I really did think we would stay together for a while. Please ignore my dog. <laughs> my cousin Jill is probably watching this and be like, your dog is going to be dead. <laughs> we were talking about that in our advisory today. Anyways, um, I I'm sorry I keep touching my hair. I did get a haircut. You guys probably know this already. You've seen it in my videos. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I might upload this today, actually. Because I just want to get this video out there. And my other videos I filmed, I'll upload later. So, yeah, I'm going to upload this today, like, right now. So, my hair looks kind of bad because it isn't how it was in the beginning. And, yeah. But in my other video, I'll upload. If you see it, it's going to be one with me wearing a cheetah shirt. So, you know that. Follow me on Snapchat. No, not follow me on Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that below. Um, Yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, guys. So, me and Zach really do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have an ex that was just like this, let me know in the comments below because we would love to read them. And I literally was cracking up um, putting this video together. So, yeah. And yeah of course, he's going to cough. I told Jenna you didn't do that no more. She got a baby. Don't cough, man. <laughs> Jenna's going to watch this and be like, you a damn lie. I'm dead serious, Jenna. He did not do that for the longest time. And then he just started back up. He's sticking his tongue out. He's saying, fuck the haters. Cause somebody loves you. Uh -huh. Okay, bye guys. Peace.